I think we all have a collection of these dumb infrared remotes. In this video, I'm going to review a product that lets you control and automate infrared devices from your phone anywhere in the world and even use Alexa. Turn TV set on or off. So if you have any older devices that aren't smart home enabled, as long as they have an infrared remote with the Yolink Smart IR controller, you can get them connected. Let's take a closer look. The box is only three inches by three inches and one and a quarter inches high. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I have a lot of Yolink devices. One of the best things about them is that they are long range and low power. So this is only powered by a couple of AA batteries and they say that the expected life will be about three years. Of course, it's gonna depend how much you use it, but that seems reasonable based on my experience with other Yolink devices. So let me show you how easy it is to set this up. It is a learning device, so you don't need any IR codes or anything like that. There's a maximum of five devices. These are just the defaults. Um, you can change the name your, to whatever you want. It doesn't have to be um, these suggestions. It then gives you a virtual keypad and you can add additional buttons to that and you can move the buttons around um, as well. So let's go ahead and we'll set up uh, the TV remote. So you just go through one by one, you press each button, you press learn, and then you point your regular remote control at the Yolink box, and then it will pick up the signal, or it should do. The first few times I was doing this, I was really frustrated because it kept timing out like this. It didn't seem to pick it up. But I realized actually um, using the remote further back, like a few feet back from the Yolink box, it then worked fine and I was able to breeze through and program each of the buttons um, really quickly. So I'll speed this part up because it's not very interesting and then let's test it out with the TV. Well, I showed you turning the TV on earlier. Uh, so let's change channel. I'm gonna hit the channel up button. And yeah, there is a delay. It's a few seconds. Um, I'm gonna change the channel back down again. Again, another delay. But that's really not the point of this device. It's not to become a universal remote and replace um, up to five physical remotes. The point of this is to automate and control your devices remotely using the internet. And to do that, to set up schedule, you hit the clock button in the app, and then you can control for a specific time of day what action in the remote and which button you want pressed at that specific time, and then determine which days of the week that's going to repeat on. Once you've programmed the schedules, they're actually stored locally on the smart IR device, so you don't need internet connectivity for the schedules to run. And like other Yolink products, there's if this, then that type capability as well. So if a, a temperature sensor detects a certain temperature, then that might turn on an electric heater. What would you want to automate with this? Leave a comment below. One of the things you'll have to experiment with is where to put the Yolink box. So uh, I put it directly under the infrared receiver on the TV and that seemed to work well. And actually also controlled my sound bar, which uh, I didn't think would work from this spot. And I experimented with other locations. So opposite the TV is this bar area. And so what I actually did was I put the Yolink transmitter uh, on top of the cupboards. And uh, it actually works because the infrared transmitter is actually on the top of the box. So it points upwards and uh, it worked in my case. The other thing you can do is you can actually wall mount it as well, which is really handy. So if you're interested in buying one of these, they're about $40 and the link is in the description for that. And do hit the like and subscribe button if you wanna see more smart home review videos like this, especially uh, Yolink, I have more ones coming up soon, including the brand new FlowSmart, an all-in-one water meter and shutoff device.